Hello there, everybody. Welcome to another Alexa look. Today we take a look at Lost Potato, which is a, a new small game by Thomas Gervrod, the same man who has made Space Gladiators, one of my favorite roguelites of the year. If you haven't seen it, then then I highly implore you to go check it out. But this is Lost Potato, which is a, a quick, quickly made uh, side project that he's been working on. Uh, and it, it basically focuses around an arena-based uh, form of combat where you can't actually kill the enemies. <laughs> you have to you have to kill the enemies in, in weird ways that don't involve you hitting them. Uh, and you're going to see that here shortly. It's important to note this is, this is like a, a very quick game, like a very quickly made game, and a very just in general, uh, I don't want to say thrown together game because that's not... That's not really the case, and it, it's still very fun. I've actually poured uh, a little bit of time into it already, and you're going to see that shortly because I have a lot of unlocks already done. But, um, you know, it's, it's not meant to be Space Gladiators. So, uh, if you're going into it with that expectation, then you're going to be a little disappointed. But this is available for $3 on Steam, uh, which is just not a lot at all. <laughs> it's not a lot at all. So, it's, it's a good, good sit-down, open-it-up, play-a-couple-rounds kind of thing. And uh, I think it's a charming little game. So let, let's hop right in. Uh, you can see that my high score here is 17. Uh, and I've already got a chunk of unlock. So we, we play as this little guy, Potato. Uh, and he can do this little attack. But this attack will not kill enemies. So I'm going to start with the the base uh, thing, which is eyebrows, I suppose. Uh, and this gives me extra health. Uh, I believe it brings down my knockback and brings down my, my something. And I'm going to be honest, I still don't really know what it is. But here's level one. Uh, if this guy touches us, we will die. We can smack him, uh, and it, it it will never kill him. Even if I do this another 15,000 times, it's never gonna kill him. Uh, we gotta kill him on these spikes. So we will we will get him to the spikes. He is dead, and then that's that's the the gameplay, right? But what the the fun part is is that you get upgrades uh, similar to a roguelite. You can see right here. So we could get uh, extra knockback on our shot, or I can get a a bouncing spike ball. And I'm gonna get the bouncing spike ball. So now we got this sucker that floats around the room, and I can hit that uh, into the enemies in order to kill them now. And I can also shoot the enemy's bullets back at them uh, to kill them. So getting a lot of uh, unique ways to murder our enemies here. But this is the, the core gameplay loop of the game. Uh, and it's it's surprisingly captivating, to be honest with you. Uh, it, it reminds me a little bit, and I, I, I don't even really know why, but it reminds me a little bit of the the mini game in the Stardew Valley bar. Uh, Trail of the Mountain King or whatever it is. Um, of just, you know, a, a, a difficult but simplistic uh, small game. And I think that that's exactly the vibe that the game's going for. Tom will yell at me if uh, if I <laughs> if he actually thinks that this is uh, Space Gladiators 2 Electric Boogaloo, uh, but I, I don't believe the man does. Uh, but for what it is, is is super charming, dude, and a very very uh, fun fun little small game. I don't often get to to play games like this anymore. Um, you know, normally devs will reach out to me, and it'll be for. I mean, at this point, I'm just going to be blunt. Most of the time, devs reach out to me, and it's, here's my deck builder. Um, which, look, there's a lot of there's a lot of really great deck builders out there, but it's an oversaturated market, right? Um, seems like everybody everybody has a deck builder to put into uh, their game at this point. Ow. Do I? I don't take damage from spikes, dude. Wow, that's the first time that I have realized this. So, like, what is stopping me from just stepping... I suppose there's shooters. But what stops me from just stepping on a spike, huh? And just just never... Never getting hit? Okay, here's here's the, the laser boys. They're a pain in the ass, let me tell you. Oh, if I'm on the spike, then it, it retracts. So then I can't necessarily go go directly for that also those poops will kill us this room is a little dicey dude there's also psychic dudes okay okay we did get wasn't that our high score before i don't know we got a couple of new things here so so all of these modifiers uh give us a little bit of an extra run while changing the cosmetics of our boy so the eye patches is, is extra extra doing the ymca and minus what i believe is knockback this one is more spikes um but lower strength it appears 
and I have high scores for each of these. So I, I've played uh, a good chunk of these. We got you know, that one's at, at 17. This one's at 17. Um, the base game, I suppose, is, is 16. So there, there's definitely high scores to snag in all of these. Let, let's go for the mustache boy here and see if maybe we can beat 17. It appears 17 is kind of our, our all-time high score, no matter what. And this is a... A good setup so we, we've got two two spikes out here that we can i mean basically just bait them into walking into it's, it's a, a ridiculously strong start for us uh we'll go for for super knockback on these boys which should allow us to do a disturbing amount of damage and push them uh pretty far away into uh into chaos right into chaos but you know i think that i think that the one thing that you're gonna notice with this game uh that i i also am a little iffy on um the resolution of the game is low right now i'm playing on a on a, a 1080p monitor uh and i've i've shrunk the game down to make it look a little bit better but the resolution is definitely low uh and that's that's supposed to be the point <laughs> It's supposed to be the point, but I, I do think that it's it, it definitely could be a higher quality in terms of the resolution. But other than that, I, I, I honestly genuinely have no complaints. For what the game's trying to do, it's it's very fun. And I, and I really want to, to see if maybe another roguelite tackles the idea of... Oh, this, this, this one's a little dicey. But I would love to see another roguelite that tackles the idea of winning without killing you know I, I think that you know and, and then some games have tried this in the past you know games like uh oh the laser boy got me laser boy got me i am mad i'm mad okay high speed low knockback let's let's see where this goes huh but you know games like undertale have tried the just don't don't kill enemies thing um and it works surprisingly well in that game, right? But not a lot of other games have, have tried to go the, the pacifist route. Now, obviously, this is not necessarily pacifist, right? We're still really murdering these people just with their own <laughs> their own stuff. Um, so I I think I still feel like an asshole, but I would love to see a, a pacifist style um, pacifist style game, right? Uh, especially in the roguelite genre, something that we, we, we just don't have. Um, and the idea of, of using your environment to, to kill the enemies is is super cool, in my opinion. So props to you, Thomas, for, for getting me to play another one of your games. I also highly look forward to, to looking at the new Space Gladiators update, which uh, by the time this goes out uh, on YouTube has now launched... I'll be checking that out soon, checking out the new characters. If you guys haven't seen Space Gladiators, I do highly, highly implore that you go check that game out. Uh, genuinely one of the better roguelites I've played in, I mean, not only 2020, but like years in general. Uh, I think it's very, very good. So, okay, dude, this, this one's looking promising. I'm starting to get, I'm starting to get the, the jukes going. Things, things are getting things are getting good things are getting good we're at level 15 still two hearts as well I would I would really like to to beat level 16 here that day you know what only takes one freaking uh, one freaking bullet to make you get back to get back to feeling scared okay let's let's go big knockback plays this is dice it's dicey. Psychic dudes are just horrible. They're just horrible. <laughs> I, I am not a fan. Okay. We we will indeed get to level uh, level 19 here. Any psychic dudes? Plethora. Plethora of psychic psychic dudes. <laughs> I keep on I keep on getting scared into oh, into moving away from my own shooters <laughs> very very afraid dude i'm very afraid being being on one health is is just 
absolutely horrifying and we we didn't in fact die right there so extra ground spike at the expense of our speed is horrible oh my lord okay um so like this is this is horrendous it's actually like real bad now it, it's also good right it's also good because it plays directly into um the strategy here right because since we're slow we can kind of kite the enemies towards the spikes uh a little bit easier i tend to not care for the ground spikes um let's make our shooter a little bit faster instead of adding another one we, we have so many other ways to kill right now but i feel like we, we can afford to i i actually took damage there <laughs> You got me. What can I say? You got me. Okay. You're down for the count. Come on. Let's, let's, uh... Look, when I, when I can kill you with my own... My own, uh, your own shot, that's when you know life is good. Come on, come on. Thank you. Poop Boy is, is always going to be one of, one of the worst. Okay, so I'm also learning we, we can set off the, the ground trap with our shot. Oh, you, I, you know what? I saw it. I want to try this one again. I want to try this one. This one is unique to me. This one is unique to me. Yeah, you, you got to play this one a lot more strategically. Um, where the guys go kind of thing. Because you, you can absolutely, I'm going to go for extra health immediately as well. Uh, you can absolutely go for, uh, ah, <laughs> You can absolutely go for uh, some more interesting plays in, in hitting the the spike trap to set it off. I, I, I really, really like this. Now, the, the low speed is horrible, so increasing our speed to at least be, like, standard right here will definitely help us. Okay, come on. Come on. You're all right there. You, you, you got to just, gotta just get... get Smacked around the right baby right round like a smack around round 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 Give me an extra spike. I still don't really know what the the man doing the YMCA does Let's be real one of you guys will tell me you'll be like you stupid. It's strength and it, it is how Hard you can how how the range of your attack that actually seems like it might literally be it um <laughs> been racking my brain trying to figure that out and then I, I meme and I think I maybe figured it out is it is it the range that you can fire your attack it feels like it got larger maybe I'm I'm sorely mistaken so we've got spikes all over the room now I mean th this only bodes well for me unless I am dumb and die you are despicable. Get get blasted. Okay. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I also do. I, I gotta unprogram my brain to think that I cannot step on spikes. That that is the one. Is it's it's freaking space gladiators. that's doing it for the record. But my brain is programmed. Spikes equals I'm getting hurt. Uh, and that is not the case in this game. Spikes means that other other bad boys are getting hurt. But it does not mean that I'm getting hurt. Which is an important, uh, important change that you gotta keep in mind. I would love to get some shooters, dude. I still think the shooters are, are among the best... Uh, yeah, you, you got me. You got me. I still think the sh Oh, <laughs> I mean that guy just—he—he—he he, he domed me. To be fair. Okay, let let's let's try another. Um, I have no high score with this one. Let us go this one. It's okay. So I mean, I I have extra strength. Maybe strength is how far I can hit this thing. Cause it does it does appear that. It does go farther. Let, let's let's increase. So is this, is this the the range of this? Was the upgrade, or is it the speed of it? 
I have no idea. It's good, though. It, it is it is doing well. Uh, I think you probably want... Two hearts is kind of the sweet spot, right? I mean, a million hearts is probably the sweet spot, but having not one so you don't lose your freaking mind 24-7 um, seems uh, logical. Otherwise, you're, you're constantly going to be in a state of, of total fear. Okay, having another one is going to be extremely good oh dude this is this is extraordinarily good i'm having a blast and a half i think i think these i think the shooters are are the best but i think uh these things are my favorite they're they're insanely satisfying to use to just smack them around now we, we did get hit there and it was a poor hit by me all things considered uh, so we can get a shooter or I can increase my speed. I'm actually going to increase my speed. I, I think that we, we can actually survive pretty well with uh, these spiky boys. I also like you, you, you wouldn't believe how, how difficult <laughs> that was. That was really bad. Okay. I'm, I'm trying again. I'm trying again. You wouldn't believe how difficult it is to, uh, accurately assess how the room is going to go in that like one second that he gives you right like ready one second assess the room and then go it's very easy at the beginning it becomes insanely difficult uh later on and that that first movement i feel like most of the damage that i take uh occurs in that like first second it is all a matter of whether or not you read the room correctly to start out uh, if you did then then you're gonna sit pretty for the room if you didn't you're in bad shape it's a it's a very uh high high risk situation to be in and you gotta your brain's gotta be firing at 4,000 miles per hour in order to to get these now this is just a, a crap start since we were nowhere near our shooters but then once we get near our shooters i mean nobody stands a chance right the issue comes when the psychics come, and, and there's probably another enemy after the psychics that we just haven't seen yet. I, I will note, like, I am actually doing horrible. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not really doing well. Um, my high score is what, like, 20? That's not that good. When there's, I think there's, there's achievements for like 250 or something like that. So I, I am majorly sucking it up in this little game here but i will i will persevere this this is this is my round this is my round i'm feeling good now we have like no stats that are actually positive this is bad this bad dude is bad okay we're fine a health upgrade is, is a requirement three shooters is actually oh that's bad three shooters is a good amount of shooters now we do have a do we, there was a psychic. I think we killed him immediately. Okay, come on. Come on. Hey, 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 I'm telling you, dude. I'm telling you. Extremely difficult to, to just, like, do that immediately. Okay, what is this? Uh, this is a new thing I haven't seen yet. So I'm interested. What What is plus one wiggle? Okay. So it's a... It's a temporary like a landmine i suppose okay so i mean it's a it's a strictly worse spike <laughs> i feel like that's that's not good um I feel like that's not good but maybe i'm missing something maybe i'm missing something but let's get another one out there I just feel like strictly worse spikes is not really beneficial maybe i'm losing it dude do they do something other than what it appears they do maybe they do and i'm just bad that is absolutely possibly the case i'm also starting to think that maybe hp is the most important resource in this game since it, it borderline dictates exactly how your your survivability goes in the game do they have like a a chain reaction of sorts that was horrifically bad come on just just like 
run into it. Okay? No, there's no there's no chain reaction of any kind. Let, let's let's get the the smack a little bit higher. This is dicey. I don't know, dude. I'm 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 kind of anti anti landmine. I think I think landmine is is maybe not good. Maybe. It's hard to tell. But once again, I am pretty terrible at this, I think. I, I can guarantee to you, you would probably be better. So for for $2.54 right now, or, or $3 if you are watching this after uh, the 21st of August 2020 ends, I implore you, play for yourself and see if you can beat uh, any of my high scores. Let, let's just get a, a permanent spike in here, I suppose. I guess one thing I could do is just stand on it and it guarantees the enemy getting killed, but I feel like it was it was it's borderline that with spikes anyway. Yeah, we got we got psychics, we got psychics. Psychics are just bad news, dude. In real life and in this game. Okay, 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 okay. They they are wrecking. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I can't tell if it's good or not. Let, let's get the knockback up. This is clearly one of our best, uh, best runs yet. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, examine, examine. You got double psychic, double psychic, double psychic. Come on. I, I need HP. If, if you can swing that sometime soon, fair enough. Let, let's increase these guys. I think that it's a, just an amazing... Oh, these guys take multiple hits, it appears. Is that is that the situation? We got new enemies that take multiple hits? That, that does seem like a logical uh, next step, huh? The psychics are hard enough, dude. I don't need the logical next step. This run is going, what hit me? <laughs> I disagree. I disagree. I'll tell you what though, two star, uh, pretty good, dude. Pretty good. Oh, I got to kill 50 of those guys in order to get the next unlock. And that one we don't know yet. Okay. Okay. So dude, clearly you can see uh, what, oh, except I mean, you, you go force me to do another, another run because I don't know what the hell this industrial shooter is it's a it's a laser beam <laughs> okay sure i don't know about this one Th i mean this just seems uh, it's gonna be really really good in like four rounds except i need way more of them and I need them to be faster. Slash have larger range. Okay. The faster is going to help. Um, it's a completely different way to play. <laughs> a completely different way to play. Okay. It's fine, though. It's fine. We, we just we got to learn. We got to learn. I just don't think it's good. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm, maybe I'm bad. Which is a high possibility. But I don't think it's good. I don't think it's good. Which means, I mean, that that that, that actually means a, a lot of things, right? It means that I should probably be prioritizing a better method of killing. Because if I don't think this is good, then clearly we're going to have some issues here soon. Now, it's, it's great as an AOE that kind of just passively goes off. I mean, that that's the benefit, right? Is I don't have to do crap for it to kill enemies, you know? So I think, I think it is best paired with something else, right? Now that, that was bad. That was bad. G give me, give me one more try with this. I think having a shooter at the beginning is, is absolutely what you need. I think in the late game, it could be really good. Uh, I just think that we are 
we had a bad run the last time, which, which meant not getting to the late game. But th this is now the, it's the only thing besides spikes uh, that passively kills enemies even when I'm not shooting, right? You know, these guys we have to fire. The spike traps we have to set off. Uh, the floating spike balls you gotta hit. You know, so it, it's definitely, is different, is different. I still think they're bad. <laughs> I still think they're bad, but um, maybe we're gonna find that later they, they pop off. Or it's supposed to literally be harder, right? God forbid there be a challenge, am I right? Okay, let's increase the, the speed of them. Even though I think that the more of them you have, the better off you're going to be. So maybe we should have just increased the number of them. Not bad though. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, we won't see, apparently, because we'll just die. Anyway, that's going to do it for Lost Potato. Uh, really interesting game and definitely a fun... If you're looking for a fun game to just, you know, every once in a while load up, get a couple runs in kind of thing, uh, try to beat a high score. I think that it, it definitely can can fit that for you. In no way, shape, or form is it the next best roguelite of all time. Uh, I'm not even going to come close to saying it, but as a fun side project, um, I, I think it's very good. I think it's very good, and I had a lot of fun playing this, and I will probably play it again in the future, to be honest, because uh, there are still two unlocks that I need to unlock here. But... Thanks so much for watching. And thank you, Thomas, for the code. Much appreciated. Uh, you best be knowing I'll be checking out the Space Gladiators update soon. And once again, I implore all of you to go check out that update as well. Uh, or just the game in general if you haven't seen it. But thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. You have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.